meeting more regularly because I felt I feel like meeting more regularly will help with your learning. So that's going to actually be part. That's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing. All right. So uh, let me start off uh, just by saying that um, as I was thinking about AI today, I was thinking about different industries and areas that you may want to look at if you want to be financially prepared, um, if you want to be kind of ready for what's coming. Uh, I, it's not that often that you, you hear all these experts pretty much saying the same thing where they're all saying, it's coming, it's coming, everything's going to change, everything's going to change, it's going to be different, it's going to be a different world. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious about it, uh, partly excited about it, a little bit nervous about it, but, you know, hey, what, what, it is what it is. And uh, and so uh, I, I thought that I would kind of lay out some industries that will be affected by AI for sure. These are industries that are already getting investments. Uh, these are areas that uh, you may want to put money in there. I think one way to prepare for AI is to make sure you're positioned to benefit uh, from AI. Positioning is everything. Uh, positioning is everything. If you're positioned to benefit from something, then you're not afraid of changes in society. Uh, you're going to win because of those changes. Now, if all you're doing is sort of going to work – and at a certain job, especially like a middle management knowledge based job, and you're not investing at all, and you're not and you have no other sort of backup plan stream of income, none of that stuff, then there's a little bit of a reason to be concerned, because I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that they're slashing jobs by the millions uh, right now already, they're already doing this companies are already uh, letting people go because of AI. Um, I knew a guy that needed somebody to uh, do copywriting for his company because uh, he, he was a great writer. And he's like, well, the AI writes better than him. You know, so th this is reality. This is the life that um, that we're going to see. This is the the universe as it is. And uh, and is, is it the end of the world? I, I don't think it is mainly because we've had big disruptions before. Um, uh, actually, it, I was thinking about uh, electricity when electricity came along. First off, how many of y'all knew this, that I think a large percentage, like 70% of Americans refused to put electricity in their house because they thought that it possessed like evil spirits and demons or something? Because only a demon can can make electricity appear out of nowhere in your house and turn the light on when, you know, when there's no lamp lighter to light the lamp or you didn't flick a match and light the oil. You know, they had the oil candles or whatever. And then also um, when electricity came along, you had these people, you had this whole industry of people called lamp lighters and lamp lighters would go through the neighborhood and light all the lamps uh, in the, in the, in the city. And uh, they, they probably had like a big lamp lighters union and, you know, the national lamp lighters association or something. And, you know, lamp lighter, uh, light, you know, just, just, I don't know, like, like a whole, like all the lamp lighters would get together after work and go have a beer. And then suddenly all that just disappeared. Uh, you know, electricity pretty much meant that you didn't need lamp lighters anymore. So there were lots of jobs lost there, but, but typically, when one type of job goes away, another job is created. Also, what uh, AI is really doing for the most part, for sure, is it's enhancing productivity. That's that's really the big one. That's the big win uh, for society. And I was listening to, um, uh, who was it, uh, Kathy Wood talk about this the other day. And, uh, and, and the future that she described was a pretty interesting future. And it's one where um, I think that the people that are going to get hit the hardest are going to be the ones who are caught up in you know, silly stuff like, you know, I don't know, like, like, I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like Elon Musk. I, I don't like Joe Biden, you know, like, like stuff like that is, is, is to me kind of trivial compared to taking care of your family. So uh, before you go take care of the Democrat or the Republican Party, I hope you'll take care of your family first. I hope it's OK for me to say that I probably hurt somebody's feelings. But uh, but Lord Jesus, we, we, we just we really we really love to get all up in other people's stuff, but not into our own stuff. So let's get into your stuff. Let, let me tell you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to lay out some game for you in terms of uh, some areas you might invest. I'll name some specific stocks that I like that I think uh, could be beneficiaries of the coming AI revolution. Uh, this is not by any stretch uh, financial advice. You guys know I do I do not give financial advice on this platform ever, but I will tell you about some places that I've been looking at to put my family's money because y'all know I'm not going to play when it comes to my wife and my children, right? So, and I know a lot of y'all don't play when it comes to your wife, your children, your grandkids, and yourself. So, uh, so take care of yourself first, and uh, here's some here's some stuff that hopefully will help you. One big industry that AI is going to impact. Um, basically it has to do with like semiconductors so semiconductors uh basically are what they might call the digital version of the of the the picks and picks and shovels uh in what is referred to as the ai gold rush uh the ai gold rush is this massive multi-trillion dollar rush 
uh, by, you know, like all these companies around the world to participate in this emerging industry that is presenting tremendous amounts of opportunity. Um, and so uh, when it comes to a, a lot of that in, in terms of, you know, who's making the semiconductors and there's a big, in fact, in fact that semiconductors are so important that there could be a war that emerges over semiconductors. Uh, Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor is a big company, a solid investment, by the way, Taiwan Semiconductor. I don't have the ticker symbol, but you can just look up Taiwan. If you can spell Taiwan, T-A-I-W-A-N, Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, TSMC, I think that's the ticker symbol. Uh, they, that's that's a great company. You know, they they control this industry and um, and, and it's, it's um, you know, it, it, and they've pretty much dominated and done quite well. NVIDIA is another company where um, I've had mixed feelings about NVIDIA uh, for a while. I wasn't sure if NVIDIA was a good stock to invest in or not, uh, largely because the, the stock ran up so much. And I always get nervous when stocks run up like that. It just makes me, I, I like to stay away from the stuff everybody else wants. Um, and that comes from my background as a finance professor. When I, when I worked on my doctorate, every research study that I saw pretty much said that investors like to move in flocks like sheep. And if you ever want to get slaughtered, just follow all the sheep. <laughs> if you ever want to get slaughtered, turn in, turn yourself into a sheep, and uh, and just do what everybody else is doing. Follow the trends, you know. Let other people tell you what to do, and they will lead you straight to slaughter. Uh, give me a guess if you understand what I'm saying. Is it t is it TSM? Okay, TSM. I, I said TSMI, but TSM. Okay, thank you for fixing that for me. I appreciate that. All right, another um, company, uh, AMD. Besides Nvidia, AMD is Nvidia's biggest rival. I think there's a lot of potential in AMD. Um, I think there's enough for everybody, and I do own some shares of AMD somewhere in my portfolio. Um, in fact, I'm even looking right now because I, I I love buying stock. I'm gonna just tell you, it, it, it's it's like it's like a habit for me. It's like shopping. You know, women like to shop for shoes and stuff. I I, I shop for stocks. I love I love to shop for stocks. And uh, I, I'm literally a shopaholic when it comes to the stock market, man. I'm telling you, 